Alrighty guys, I've been trying to film outdoor stuff for the last two weekends and it's either been too windy, like the mic has just picked up all the wind, you can hardly hear me, or um, like now, I was just set up, ready to press record, and it started raining. So it was a big panic to get everything, you know, all packed up and get in before it got wet. So, uh, plan B, the power pot. You might have seen me um, unboxing this. Me and Funky did a, a bit of a trade and um, I was looking for one of these and he just happened to have one. And um, I haven't used it before. So this is, this is sort of like a, a dry run before I get it out in the field and use it in proper conditions. So um, I just thought I'd bring you along. So um, it says on here, important to read the instructions. So I'm just going to see what we get with the pot. Don't know whether or not you've heard of the power pot. Basically, heat goes in, electricity comes out. Um, especially this time of year, if you take in devices out with you, with the extreme temperatures, you find that the battery capacity is not quite what it is under normal conditions. So, um, you know. You might be out overnight and then you wake up the following morning and your phone's completely dead. It just sucks the life out of the batteries. So, um, this is handy. Well, it is if it works. So, we've got some destructions. I've got, it feels like um, heat resistant cable. Well, you'd like to think so. But um, we'll read the instructions. It's got a load of little bits and pieces there. Another USB lead there. But read the instructions, see what it says. Thank you for purchasing the PowerPop V, your new on demand portable thermoelectric generator. And in big bold writing, please read and understand all the instructions and warnings in this document before operating. Right, okay. If you do not understand any of the parts of this document or have any questions at all, please contact us at support at powerpractical.com. Right, okay. Warning, this pot gets very hot during operation. Fancy that. Um, if the liquid in the power pot boils out or if heat is applied to the power pot without liquid, permanent damage to the power pot may occur. Running the power pot without liquid also poses a risk and severe personal injury and slash or property damage. And in big bold writing again, the power pot must always run with water. Right, okay, we've got that. Blah, blah, blah. Technical specifications, 5 volt out, um, power 5 watt maximum, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Set up. Connect the regulator cable to the power pot through the flame resistant connector. Right, okay. Flame resistant connector. How's that look? Okay. That must be that. That goes in there. Okay. So we've got a pause and a neg. Pause and a neg. See that? Straight in there. Okay. Shall I put some fire to it? Right. Um, I'm going to use my. I think I'm going to use my jet foil. Um, maybe just the base of it. Okay. Now, bear in mind. In the winter, I would tend not to use the jet boil. Um, here we go. Lock, lock, lock. I always 
always forget to do that, you know? Idiot! Right. I would tend not to use my jet boil. I find gas um, a little bit flaky. If you get below like minus five in that sort of region, um, you don't really get a good output, a good power behind you. Um, so I would tend to use like uh, a multi-fuel system. I might show you that next time. However, right. Not sparking, guys. Right, let me down. How annoying! Yeah, okay. Have that seated on there. Right, what did it say? It needs to have water in it. So I better put some water in it. Right, stick on the heat. Okay, so we've got um, an LED down here, a little indicator. So I'm assuming as soon as we get As soon as we get some heat, we'll have some power. Ah, she's starting to glow already. Shall I bring you closer in? Do you see that? How quickly that came up. I'll take it off the heat. That was impressive. I didn't know whether or not she'd need to boil first or to come up to some sort of temperature. Right, she's still holding. She's still kicking out voltage. Wow. Well, I think I'm going to put it back on. How awesome is that? Right. So I'm assuming we're, we're, we're okay just to plug stuff in. Right. Um, this is my, um, my little response pack that I sort of keep bits and pieces in. Um, let's try. Okay, got a few bits here. That's like um, a battery pack, a battery backup. That's USB. Um, I've got my, this is my power monkey. So I wonder if that will plug in and start charging up as well. Um, I've got a little USB. That's for charging batteries on the go, so double A, triple A. I'll try that first, I think. I'll get a couple of rechargeable batteries. So a couple of rechargeable batteries. Put them in there, close her up. We got an LED light there to see whether or not she's charging. So I'm just going to plug that in there. Yeah, check that out. You see that? Brilliant. So that's the system. Isn't that cool? So, you can cook your dinner, charge your phone. This also comes with um, an LED light as well. So, you can, you, can, <laughs> you can cook your dinner with light. Um, and that, I'm just, um, that's just brilliant. I think that's just brilliant. Okay, so we've got the power. That's charging up. And I'm gonna. I'm just gonna turn the heat off now, and see how much residual electricity it holds. It stores for how long? 
So it's still lit up. Let's have a look, see if I can find something that will allow me to charge my Power Monkey up. Like I said, this is the pack that you get. to improvise, adapt and overcome. That comes with my power monkey. Let me take this off. Put my power monkey on. Bear in mind, we're not, we haven't got any heat on at the moment. There you go, straight up. Turn that back on. There we go. See that come up. Brilliant. I'll never get caught without electricity again. So I've got my power monkey for for daylight. I can generate electricity using that. Then at night time, or any other time, even when I'm cooking, I can get myself a little bit of electricity. <laughs> there we go. It does what it says on the tin. I make electricity. Right. Guys, I'm going to put this away. And um, hopefully the weather will be a little bit nicer tomorrow and we'll do some outdoorsy stuff. Right guys, all the best, God bless, and I'll, um, yeah, I'll see you later on. Bye!